Hello everybody and welcome back to my career playthrough in Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to ferry a lot of tourists because that gets us a lot of money. So we have already a few tourist contracts and we're going to accept this one and we're also going to accept... Where was it? Thought there was another one. But let's also take this moon contract just to have it. Okay, and yeah, I think that's all of it. So, what do we have here? Fair. We have one, two, three, four tourists, then six tourists, which makes 10, another six, which makes 16, another four, which makes 20. Can we get 20 tourists at once into space? Hmm, maybe I would need something for that. And yes, this is it, the crew cabin module. Uh, there is also the bigger one, this one, but I don't have any uh, 2.5 meter parts yet, which would uh, enable me to uh, put, the, put that canister uh, onto a spaceship more securely, but let's try to do it with the other crew module. All right, um, do we need this? Uh, actually, I think we could use a few of those later on, but not at the moment. But hmm, then again, we can get that lander can, which we will probably need later on. So yeah, let's just spend it. And we are now on the next tech level, which is level one, two, three, four. So we're now on tech level three and a bit, so to speak. Okay, uh, let's try to make a tourist trap. And for this, I'm going to use Really just the bare necessities. Do I need a pilot or do I just put them on there? Let's try to do it this way. Okay, so what I wanted to do is, there we go. Add a few of those and then I can add a few of these. So we have two tourists per, uh, two tourists per capsule. So this mix and then five, six. So, well, we have 12 tourists on here and then we have, that's better. Okay, 12 tourists around and two more in the middle is 14. And get this up here. Then 14, 16, well, we want 20, don't we? Okay, uh, another 12, 14 plus 12 is of course way more than 20. So yeah, let's make it like this. So we have uh, 12, 24 tourists. Hmm, let's see if that works out. And we want to do a suborbital flight. So we have to reach as far as I understand these contracts, uh, we have to reach an apoapse uh, of <clears throat> more than 70 kilometers and then get down safely to the ground. Uh, I'm a bit worried about the getting safely to the ground bit, but yeah, let's see how that works out. Okay, we need an engine. What engine do we take? Let's try this one. This has abysmal thrust to weight ratio, so I don't use this one. So maybe the swivel engine. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So also add some caps on there for aerodynamic purposes. And then we want something like this. And then we're going to have a bundle of uh, solid rocket boosters, right? Right. So this should get those poor people well out of the atmosphere. And the only thing is getting them back towards the ground safely. So yeah, let's, let's see how that works out. 
Okay, I want some more parachutes because parachutes are very nice. And I also want them up here because one of you fine gentlemen told me that uh, if I use the stage recovery mod, as I do, then uh, if I put the parachutes in the final stage, then stage recovery would stage them by itself at an opportune moment, which is nice of stage recovery. So, two and a half thousand meters per second. Oh, it could work, it could work. Let's maybe add a few of those winglets. I want one here and I want one here. I really want to do this only in four-way symmetry, but I can't. Whoops. I can't because, yeah, those uh, boosters are put on there in six-way symmetry. But I can use my offset tool to put it smack in the middle here and also on the other side. And then I have sort of a four-way symmetry. Which isn't really four-way symmetry bit at all, but we have four winglets to control our flight better. And let's hope this uh, Sputnik core or whatever you want to call it. What's it called? The Probodobodyne Staputnik. Oh, almost. But let's add some batteries so it works. Great, so we have enough thrust to weight ratio. Way, way too much thrust to weight ratio. Let's reduce that, shall we? Okay. So, this will help us get a. Yeah, 3.5 is way more manageable than uh, what I had before, which was more than 6, and this would probably kill my poor tourists and I don't I don't want to kill my tourists do you want to kill your tourists I really hope you don't okay uh, parachutes so this will weigh four tons uh, what will what is this going to weigh once it is empty let's let's look at that okay we have our engine I want that tank where is my tank there is it there it is 19,000, okay, 15 tons, so we have to land 15 tons safely, okay, that's probably too many parachutes, adding that again, okay, 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 um, I'm pretty confident that we can manage with four parachutes, I'm just saying. And maybe two drogue shoots, just just to be on the side of safety. First the drogue shoots, and then the main parachutes. And let's hope that that works out fine. Okay. Get a bit further down, so once this thing lands, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a bit less wiggle room and maybe also we move that further in and this further down and maybe don't have a shroud because this could probably uh, cause some problems. Okay, let's call this the tourist trap. I think this is aptly named. And yeah, where are my tourists? There are all of my tourists. Hi guys. And we have four seats left. Isn't that nice? We could accept another tourist contract, but we don't have one. So, suborbital flight, suborbital space flight, space flight, space flight. Yes. Okay, just checking that I have the right contract uh, information. And you know what? Before we actually start, let's do this. Uh, do this. Uh, what? What's it called? Yeah, that winglet thing I did before. Let's do this also for the upper stage, just in case. You never know. Because uh, honestly, I'm a bit afraid of aerodynamics because they can be so unpredictable, and I have no clue about them since they are way more complicated than just. Point rocket, fire rocket, and wait for the fuel to burn. Alright. This should do the trick. So let's save that again, and let's 
Let's fly our tourist trap. We are now on the launch pad. And a bit of wobbly, but that doesn't matter. We don't have any SAS. Yeah, I always forget that the state put nicks don't have any SA control. Which I don't care about at the moment, because I just want to launch in a direction. Maybe this direction. And just keep it more or less in stable flight path. Okay, my tourists, they don't look particularly excited. Some jaded Kerbal millionaires who've already uh, had a few of those space tourist missions and now they don't even think it's something special. Well, it is. Getting into space is really special. And as I once mentioned before, uh, in one of my really, really early videos, I pr would probably give an arm or something like that to uh, be able to get into space. And we have some control issues over here, but nothing that we can't handle. Okay, we're almost out of our solid rocket boosters. I forgot to turn down the thrust limiter on the uh, central booster, which has already burned out, so we're carrying dead weight, basically. Whoops, okay, that was, that was just a decoupler. Alright, uh, where are we headed? Okay, not even close to space, unfortunately. Why is that? I should have had enough delta V. Why didn't I get out of the atmosphere yet? So let's look at our uh, let's look at our numbers regarding fuel. Maybe it's because of that very unstable flight path that I'm taking. That could definitely be an issue. So what we're doing here basically is parabolic flight. So this is, <laughs> one could say this is a bit of a more expensive version of the Womit Comet. Ah, and we're way too short. I think I should choose a steeper trajectory. Let's try this again. Uh, the Womit Comet, for those who do not know what that is, is uh, basically it's an airplane where they train zero gravity simulations uh, and what they do is they uh, do a parabolic flight and by that I mean that they fly way up in the air and then turn the plane around and just let it fall so that you can experience weightlessness while in the confines of that airplane and yeah, due to the fact that this is very, um, how do you say, unusual for the human body to experience weightlessness, uh, people tend to puke a lot. And yeah, you do parabolic flights, like you go up and down and up and down and up and down until the pilots decide, uh, okay, this is enough, or until uh, your other co-passengers uh, decide they had enough of you vomiting. All the right. Whoops. Okay, we're already uh, we're once again tumbling around a bit, which of course costs us precious delta v because every movement out of the prograde vector will of course uh, increase your drag and therefore reduce your velocity and therefore hinder your chances to get into anything similar to an orbit or even a uh, suborbital trajectory. Okay, come on, I really want this to work. I really want this to work and I really want to get out of that bloody atmosphere. Okay, how is I how are our fuel levels doing? Well, they are uh, it could work. It could work. Let's hope it works. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Why isn't this working? Hmm. Must have way too much drag somewhere. Yeah. 
Nope, that's not it. That's definitely not it, and I have to rethink this. Okay. What I did here was maybe the wrong decision, because I decreased the thrust limiter on here, but I didn't decrease it on the other one. So let's put this to 80, and also put these, oh, they're at 81, so here, no, there we go, 80. Uh, also, what is worth mentioning is maybe I did not consider to use some more staging, because even if I use this singular rocket booster, does it have enough power to get us off of the ground? Well, not by itself. But if we're already moving, this should be enough to get us somewhere. So let's try some other staging uh, options. Okay. How about these? Atmospheric? Okay. Okay. Well, what did happen here? All right. That looks better. There we go. And I want caps on here. Let's move this a bit, just a tiny bit. I don't consider this cheating, but well, it is a standard function of the game to move things. So yeah, I just do it. Okay, and then we have these. And we're going to use, well, and I think what I'm doing is I have going to have four of these boosters fire first. Then I get rid of them. And then I fired second ones. Do we have enough thrust to weight ratio in the atmosphere? Yes, we'll definitely be above five kilometers for this to work. And we all have enough ratio. Nevertheless, Hmm, what's bothering me here is that we should have enough delta V, but in the end we don't. So, could be a drag issue, maybe. Let's see, do we have the tourists on board? Yes, we do have our tourists on board. Try this one more time, but this time we're going to activate. Now this is a shortcut, uh, which is F12. So if we press F12, we see uh, what's going to happen with our aerodynamics. So let's try this this way. Speed it up a bit. Okay, we're going into one direction, but I don't want to go into one di this direction. Whoa, really hard to control. This is hard to control. Whoa, 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 Okay, okay, I don't think this is going to work. Nope, look at those arrows or markers or whatever. No, we are going to die. Okay, and I'm going to cut this short because that's not the point of the exercise. Come on, I wanted to do more than one mission in one episode, okay. This is definitely not working as I planned, so maybe we should uh, should try to use our solid, uh, not solid, our liquid fuel engines, and maybe this is going to. Okay, four-way symmetry, and yes, that's definitely enough delta V to get us somewhere. I only hope. Okay, I'm going to use a swivel engine in the middle because what I'm doing here is, uh, well, I have to uh, act, I have to in include some control authority, and this is not working with just the reliant engines because they don't have any thrust vectoring, and thrust vectoring, of course, is needed for us to get anywhere. 
So this should have 2,400 meters per second of delta V. Do we have, oh yes, this could help as well. Some SAS uh, thingy, or at least a reaction wheel. Maybe, maybe this helps us a little bit. Do we have our tourists on board? No, we don't. Why don't we have them on board? Maybe because I removed that thing? Okay. Anyhow, tourists get on board. I want your money and I want it now. Okay. Hey, you go there. Why didn't I put that in there? Staging can save lives. We all know that, don't we? And yeah, I know the correct uh, terminology with check it, but I really don't want to infringe on somebody else's copyright. Is it copyrighted? I actually don't know, but it's not my creation, so I won't brag about it. Okay, there we go. And this looks way more stable than before. Until it doesn't. Okay, I just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too much, just a little, just a little. I mean, I have 20... Uh, I have 20 Kerbals on board, so... This is a big responsibility. Imagine if you're a space tourism uh, supplier or a space tourism company and you have 20 people on board and something happens. Could you imagine the PR disaster that this would entail? Whoa, 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 what am I doing? What is the rocket doing? This is bad. This is really bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay there. Whoa, this is hard to control. This is really hard to control. I'm working overtime here with my keyboard. You may have may hear it in the background that clicking noises. That's me trying to uh, get control back on my spaceship. Okay. 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 We're now almost somewhere where I think we could release our stage. Oh, and this is working nicely. Maybe we can get a better trajectory so that the re-entry won't kill us, or at least not that much. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we? We're already almost at 63. 60 kilometers, which is okay. Okay, we're going to definitely going to reach the goal of suborbital flight. And we have a lot of fuel left in the tank, so we could maybe do a powered landing, but I'm not so sure if I wanted to do a powered landing with, uh, with so many people on board. So look at that, we have our, we have our tourists and maybe we can, Tourists may not disembark, but I want to see what they see. Hi, tourist guys! Do you enjoy space? Yay, you do! Right, that's nice of you. Oh, look at all those happy faces. Yay, and now you're tumbling back down to the earth. I'm not so sure if you're going to enjoy that as well. Yay, happy tourists! Isn't that great? Okay, enough about that. So guys, let's get back down to business. And business, as I mentioned before, appears to be good because we're now doing our re And we're doing it... We're going to come a little, a little bit faster. Maybe if I already slow down here. I mean, I have a lot of fuel left. So, yeah. Maybe we can get this down to a safe margin. Yep. Ah, come on. Not having SAS available is really a pain in the behind. 
Okay, now I'm screwed. Or maybe I'm not. Let's see if my drogue shoots will do something. I really hope they can slow me down significantly so that I can then engage the main parachutes. And yeah. Got 2,500. 5,000. Okay, yeah, I forgot I increased that on the other one. Interestingly, if you do that in the VAB, it uh, does it for all uh, parachutes in symmetry, but it doesn't do that when you are uh, in flight, so it only does it for a singular uh, entity. It's a bit of inconsistent behavior, but yeah, I'm going to forgive the developers for doing that because I can see some reason behind it. Because maybe if you put it in symmetry in the editor, you want everything fine, but then you realize once you fly that you have to fine tune certain parts. So yeah, I think it's okay. And can we slow down? That's okay, we have slowed down to below 10 uh, meters per second, which should be enough for us to make a safe splashdown. Look at that, the tourist trap is heading down, and it's going to be a nice landing for my 20 tourists, and I hope you give us a lot of money. Two, one. Whoa, something exploded. Okay, that was just the engine and the tank. Whoo! I am relieved because that would have been a disaster if I had lost my, uh, my tourists in one fell swoop. Well, as I mentioned before, could you imagine a PR disaster? Alright, we don't have any science, which doesn't matter, because now we have 900,000 funds, which is great! Okay, 45 uh, things we have to take care of, 12,000, 12,000, 12,000, okay, we have a lot of money, and yeah, this is great. Whoops, no, I didn't want to enter the VAB. But I am very happy that my plan worked out as intended. Maybe next time I'm going to use a crew capsule to... Um, to do something, uh, to, to have more control authority. But we're going to look at that when we once again enter the Shadow Zone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.